Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, I thought we'd spend some time in the kitchen. I'm in the mood to bake, and then later I make a delicious chicken and squash casserole for dinner. But first, I need to catch up on my chores. It's a full day of mobile home homemaking here in the Virginia mountains. So if you're interested, I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. I sure hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's Saturday here and we're doing great. Tim is finishing the floor in our son's room and I'm just puttering around the house. I need to change the sheets on our bed because we need to go to the laundry mat. And after cleaning up our room, I need to straighten up the front porch. And then later, I want to clean up the kitchen a little bit before I get in there this afternoon to bake an apple crumble cake for our dessert tonight. It's gearing up to be a very productive day here in our double wide fixer upper. If you're new here, our family of six moved into this double wide fixer upper a little over a year ago. We have been renovating the mobile home ever since moving in. We have currently completely gutted and renovated three of the five bedrooms. After taking a break this past spring to work on outdoor projects, we are now renovating the fourth bedroom. It's just Tim and I who mostly work on renovations, with the help of our three sons. Tim's mom, who we call Granny, lives with us, and we are her full-time caregivers. So needless to say, the renovations are taking longer than expected. But that's okay. We would rather take our time doing the renovations than to rush and make mistakes. And even though we live in what I call a construction zone, I still try to keep our home as comfy and cozy as possible. Here on my channel, you'll find mobile home living content, which includes homemaking motivation to include cooking and cleaning videos, as well as mobile home renovations. I also share beautiful views of the Blue Ridge Mountains from our little piece of paradise here in Virginia. I grew up in North Carolina, but I've lived in Virginia for the past 25 years, ever since the day that Tim and I got married. Tim has lived in many places as a child, but settled in Virginia as an adult. He's now retired from his job of 30 plus years, and we knew we wanted to retire in Virginia, as we both love the location up here in the mountains. Alright y'all, I'm just rambling, but I am curious. If you could retire anywhere in the world, where would you go?
I finish here in my bedroom, I'm going to head outside to straighten up the front porch. It feels like fall is in the air. The leaves are starting to change colors and are falling from the trees. It's my favorite time of year, and any chance I get to be outside, I take it. I need to fold this laundry, but it's going to have to wait for another day, because like I said, I'd rather be outside. The front porch is currently my favorite place in the whole house. The view of the mountains from the porch are just beautiful. I sit outside to edit, to color, to just sit and look out at the scenery, and to hang out with Milo. Milo is a cat that found our family when we were living in the single wide rental trailer. He's an outdoor cat and he lives on the front porch. I've tried to bring him inside, but he just stands at the door and meows to get out. He does not like to be indoors at all, but when it gets cold outside, I bring him in at night. Well, like I mentioned, the front porch is currently my favorite spot, but come this winter, you'll find me inside sitting close to the wood stove. That's my second favorite spot in the whole house. I love decorating for fall and I'm constantly adding to my displays. I found some unique pumpkins at Walmart and I thought they would look cute out here on the front porch along with the scarecrows. So as soon as I'm finished cleaning out here, I'll go grab them out of the car.
There's Max and Willow, those silly old dogs. It's time for a treat, and then I'm going to clean up the kitchen a bit. I have a few things to put away, and then I want to wipe down the stove, counter, and appliances. And then I have a few dishes to wash. I swept a mop yesterday, so I can mark that off my to-do list. After I get the kitchen cleaned up, then I plan to do some baking. I'm feeling inspired for fall, so I decided to bake an apple crumb cake with a cinnamon glaze. It sounds delicious and I can't wait to make it. I'm not much of a baker, so I prefer easy to follow recipes. And the recipe I found seems super simple. But first, I need to clean up the kitchen. Well, y'all, I've noticed we have several new viewers to the channel. So I thought I would take a minute to reintroduce ourselves. I'm Valerie and my husband is Tim. And we have three teenage boys, all of which are in high school. Tim's mom came to live with us a year and a half ago, and Tim and I are her full-time caregivers. Unfortunately, she had a stroke and is no longer able to live alone. As I mentioned before, Tim is retired from his job as a maintenance worker for about two years now. I used to have a career as a registered nurse, but I had to stop working due to my arthritis. So I've been a stay-at-home wife and mom going on nine years now. We have two dogs and one cat. Willow is a Yorkshire Terrier who is 9 years old. Max is a coon dog and is 3, as well as Milo the cat. Max and Milo came to live with us while we were living in a single wide rental trailer. We moved into the single wide up in the mountains after selling our townhouse while we were searching for a house to buy. We lived in a single wide for a year so that way the boys could finish school. We moved into our forever home in July of last year. We have spent the last year gutting and renovating four of the five bedrooms here in our double wide, as well as growing our first ever vegetable garden. Our garden looked like it was going to be a big success, but unfortunately the local deer found it and destroyed just about all the vegetables that we planted. We did manage to harvest a couple of heads of lettuce, some collards, a few cucumbers, a watermelon, and several yellow onions. We have about 20 acres of mostly wooded property and we have a barn and barnyard where we plan to have goats one day as well as a donkey and maybe some pigs. I also want some chickens and honeybees. It's always been a dream of mine to live on a little farm and Tim is helping to make that dream come true for me.
Well, y'all, I've just about finished up here in the kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little break. And then I'll be ready to start baking that apple crumb cake that I've been talking about. y'all the house is mostly clean so now i'm in the mood to bake to be honest this isn't something that happens very often because baking creates a lot of dirty dishes and i don't have a dishwasher i know first world problems but after two years of hand washing dishes well i'm ready for a dishwasher tim has promised that when we renovate the kitchen that there will be a dishwasher and i'm holding him to it okay that's enough complaining from me it's time to bake I'm just gathering up all the ingredients that I'll need to bake an apple crumb cake. I found this recipe on piesandtacos.com. You'll be able to find the link to the recipe down in the description box. Oh, just as a little side note. The recipe calls for nutmeg, which I thought I had, but apparently not because I couldn't find it. So I just googled what an alternative for nutmeg would be, and it said I could use pumpkin pie spice instead. So that's what I'm going to be using today. While I'm in here baking, Tim is in our middle son's room finishing up installing the new subfloor. 
Once he finishes that, then we'll be ready to rebuild the wall that separates the bedroom from the living room. We are making great progress renovating the fourth bedroom, so hopefully our son will be able to move back into his new room sometime before the holiday season. At least that's the plan. We do live in an old mobile home and something always seems to come up, just like the other day. We have three bathrooms, but currently only one is functional. Our one working shower head completely broke off, so Tim had to stop work on the floor in order to fix the shower. Thankfully, it didn't take too long to fix, and he was right back to work in our son's room by the very next day. I tell you what, he amazes me each and every day with all that he knows how to do, that's for sure. All right, well, back to the baking. The first step was to make the crumble topping, and then next I'll start peeling and chopping up the apples. I know, I should have broke out the stand mixer, but to be honest, I didn't even think about it until it was too late. There's a lot of mixing in this recipe, and the stand mixer would have been very useful, but good old muscle strength works well too. Alright, well I'm just going to go ahead and keep on mixing up the batter so that I can go ahead and get this cake in the oven. It's almost time to get dinner started. Tonight we're having chicken and squash casserole, which I've never had before, so I'm excited to try it out.
Okay, I'm just about finished mixing up the cake batter. And once I'm done, then I will assemble the cake in a deep 9x13 Pyrex casserole dish. And then the cake will bake in a 350 degree oven for approximately one hour. I really do regret not pulling out the stand mixer. I don't use it nearly enough and today would have been the perfect opportunity to use it because there was a whole lot of mixing going on. Well anyway, once I get the cake in the oven, then I'll clean up my mess. I try to clean up as I go because if I don't, then there will be a huge pile of dishes in the sink come dinner time and trust me, that's no fun. I rather wash the dishes in small batches throughout the day versus washing a ton of dishes after dinner. I'm a pretty messy cook and I create a lot of dirty dishes while cooking and I always feel guilty leaving so many dishes for someone else to wash. It just doesn't seem fair to me. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this cake in the oven. It's time to wash more dishes. The cake has been in the oven for about 30 minutes, so I still have a little time left before it's ready to come out. I'm going to put away the dishes from this morning, and then I'll wash the dishes I dirtied while making the cake. And then just before the cake comes out of the oven, I'll make the cinnamon glaze to frost the apple cake with.
The cake is almost ready, so now I'm going to go ahead and make the cinnamon glaze that I'll top the cake with. The recipe for apple cake has a recipe for an apple cider cinnamon glaze, but I didn't have all the right ingredients, so I found another recipe for cinnamon glaze of just powdered sugar, cinnamon, and cream. So that's what I'm making now. As soon as the cake comes out of the oven, then I will drizzle the glaze all over the hot cake. I tell you what, it sure smells delicious in here. It smells like fall, and I'm loving it. That cake looks so yummy and I can't wait to dig in. Well, as you can see, the sun is starting to set, so it's time to get dinner started. We are having chicken and squash casserole with roasted radishes on the side. The recipe calls for cooked chicken, so I'm going to go ahead and get started by cooking the chicken in the Instant Pot. To prepare the chicken, I like to trim off any fat or gristle, and then I cut the chicken in half lengthwise. I'll season the chicken with just salt and pepper as the casserole itself will be full of flavor from all the seasonings that I'll be using later, such as rosemary, thyme, garlic, and onion powder. All right, y'all, let's get this dinner started.
The chicken is in the instant pot, so now it's time to prepare the vegetables. I need to chop up the squash and onions for the casserole, and then the radishes for our side dish. I love roasted radishes, but I can't stand them raw. I know most people like to eat raw radishes in their salad, but not me. But roasted radishes, I could eat all day. I'll drizzle the radishes with a little olive oil, season them with salt and pepper, and then I'll roast in a 400 degree oven until they are crispy and golden brown. Mmm-mmm, delicious, if I do say so myself. Okay, the chicken is ready, so I'm going to go ahead and get it shredded up so that it's ready for when I'm ready to assemble the casserole. Next, I need to saute the squash and onions till they are softened, and then it will be time to put it all together.
I love making casseroles. It's good old comfort food if you ask me. Casseroles are usually easy to make and can be an economical way to stretch your protein. They are portable, they freeze well, and are easy to reheat. And my favorite reason for making casseroles? Fewer dishes, as casseroles can go straight from the oven to the table, resulting in less cleanup. I'm now mixing all the ingredients together, and once I'm ready, I'll then spread it into the casserole dish. The casserole will bake in a 350 degree oven for approximately 20 to 30 minutes, or until it's bubbly and the stuffing topping is golden brown. I'm sort of following a recipe that I found on allrecipes.com, except I'm using different seasonings. But I'll be sure to link the recipe just in case y'all want to give it a try.
All right, y'all, the casserole is going in the oven. So while it's baking, I'll go ahead and clean up this new mess that I've made. But I tell you what, I think I've washed enough dishes for today. So someone else can wash the after dinner dishes, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go ahead and finish making this dinner. Because the sooner dinner is ready, the sooner we can dig into the apple crumb cake. Tim took our son to the mall, and they've just gotten back home, and it looks like he brought home a surprise. He bought fall candles from the Bath and Body Works. Tim knows that I love burning seasonal candles, so he picked up two candles for me. He's such a thoughtful guy. Lord knows I don't know what I would do without him. Dinner is ready, y'all, and it looks and smells delicious. So if you're ready, it's finally time to dig in. I'm just going to get it all served up, and then I'm going to have a little taste test.
casserole tastes just as good as it looks. It's so full of flavor, but I do have just one complaint. It's a bit dry, so I wish I had added some more wet ingredients such as cream of celery soup or something like that. But it's not a fail. I'll just know to add more wet ingredients the next time I make it. But those radishes though, they're just the way I like them. Tender and crispy and bursting with flavor with every bite that I take. I tell you what, I'm just about ready to go sit down and relax. It's been a very productive day here in the kitchen, but I'm ready to go color. But first, we're going to clean up and have dessert. Well, y'all, it's that time. It's time to dig into the apple crumb cake, and I can't wait, and neither can my boys. So I'm going to go ahead and get it served up. After dessert, I'm going to let someone else take care of the dishes while I go sit and relax and color. But first, let me tell you how good the apple crumb cake was. It was moist and buttery with a melt-in-your-mouth texture. I could taste the cinnamon and apples and the sweet crumble topping. It was very delicious. I'll definitely be making it again very soon.
Well, y'all, I guess that's about it for another video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. It was a very productive day here in our 1975 Double Wide Fixer Upper. I got a lot done on this day, but now I'm exhausted, so I'm going to finish up my coloring and then call it a night. Alright, y'all. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye, y'all.